interesting and pure health. Let's erect my poop. And now we don't know where we're going. We've come to Tokyo Teleport Station to go to the Unko or Poo Museum. It's a place with lots of fluorescent poo and everything poo. 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 This starts our last day in Tokyo, which is quite sad. We are going to go to the Poo Museum and we're going to a nice little spiritual area near Opera. And then we're going to do a first couch surfing experience. <laughs> So many screaming kids. Woo. This is pretty horrific. It's bright, it's screaming, this is definitely the kids. Let's have a quick look around and get out of here. Directs my poop. Interesting and pure health. It definitely is. What's your opinion on that? Something else. If I'm going to be honest, I would not recommend going to that. It's a bit much, a bit screamy. I mean, it's kind of cute in that you sit on a toilet and you do a plastic poo. That's where the fun kind of ends. But how about yourself? What do you think? Yeah, I think it's overrated. Like, the neon colours are really cool. And it looks really fun for kids. Maybe not adults by themselves with backpacks. That's the case. Yeah. Next, we're going to a, uh, a temple called Engapuji. And it's about an hour and a quarter's train ride away. Tokyo. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? So the next train we get on will take us out of Tokyo properly for the first time. Exciting and a little scary. Realised what the IC card for is, and the reason is is because there's so many different companies between the railways, but it crosses different railways. So at the moment we're having to get a ticket from one company, get to that station, come out of the station, then go back into the station to then get another ticket for a different company but the IC card I think they cover many companies so that's the logic. I think we're best going to the ticket office for this one because this station doesn't have the prices in English. Look at them, shiny tickets. They're 7.30 each so that's about £4.90 for a 45 minute to an hour journey that's really good. Kamakura, Kamakura and Ibushi. The next stop is Kita Kamakura. The stop after Kita Kamakura will be Kamakura. We're here. Don't go that way. Oh. That way. Oh. 
This is not suitcase friendly. Alex wins this one with his backpack. beautiful isn't there and now we don't know where we're going well, got five hours to kill yeah we're going to some guy's house we don't know his address yet but we found him on couch surfing and we've just got to wait until 10 o'clock to meet him at the next station along i saw a cafe to some direction should we go there oh yeah let's go there i think it's Train. <laughs> I thought that was genuinely one of the most characterful places we've been so far in Japan. It really has the kind of essence of what you can expect um, from traditional Japan. They have all the mod cons though, including electric sliding gates. <laughs> to the cafe slash bar slash whatever it is by the station. We've discovered a cafe that looks beautiful. I don't know what it's called because it's in Japanese symbols. It's all made of like mahogany wood. It's got a little back garden and the guy is really nice. It's an old guy who worked in Tokyo 40 years ago and moved here to little Kita Kamakura. It's a nice refuge from the rain outside that's made me really sleepy. Even though I've just had really strong coffee. <laughs> Ready to go. You want to go? Tamsin would like to go to McDonald's. No, you want to go to McDonald's. <laughs> I don't want to go to McDonald's. <laughs> to to McDonald's. <laughs> I want to go to McDonald's. Actually, no, I do, because they might have free Wi-Fi. That was lovely. It's a nice refuge from the rain. Back on the train, one stop to Do you actually know where Macadies is? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh! The Golden Arches. Fish, why was it called a fish fillet? They're so quirky. <laughs> Back up plan for if our camp surfing guy doesn't turn up. What's that hotel called you just found? <laughs> hotel Breath. Our couch surfing guy has gotten back to us. We are meeting him at 10 o'clock, so we're gonna go get him a bottle of wine. Say so thank you from Family Mart. Couch surfing has been set up probably about 10 years ago. And it's kind of like a matchmaking service for people who want to host people uh, for free. And then obviously people like us are going around the world and traveling and we get to stay there for free. And I think it's just a good way for people not only to get free accommodation, but also to meet people that you might not normally meet. We found us. <laughs> Um, we're in his house and he is so lovely, so generous and kind as a host. Made us up a bed, gave us three blankets, gave us some coffee and wanted to make us something to eat. <laughs> it's just like no end to his kindness. Go to sleep. Yeah, it'll be up. Yeah. 
I'll put half six. six. Yeah. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful experience that was. Absolute fantastic host. He even walked us to the station and gave us some breakfast. <laughs> So begins the journey to Ito. We've got an hour and a quarter on this train. And we've got to change at Atari. And it's a four minute change, so that's going to be interesting. Covered in snow. connection in four minutes. Well, like, everyone's a bit uh, keen, aren't they? A bit chatty. Ready to ah, It's quite windy. It's sea breeze. Uh, eight minute walk to the hostel where we're staying tonight. Let's go for a walk through Ito. Welcome to Ito. Ito is known for its fish, it's a fishing village, and it's often overlooked by tourists. So that's another reason we came here, but maybe for the low point of the Look how quiet this street is. What a cool lamppost. The competition's already started. Um, it starts at 9.30 this morning. So we're just going to drop our bags off at the hostel. Head straight there. And wake up a little bit before heading to the competition. Not for the tea. Cool. How do we work the bus? You get on, you say where you're going, and you give them the money. Old school. <laughs> oh my god, it's getting more and more difficult to communicate. You just do it by hand gestures. Basically, like, took my hand and moved it, and then put coins in it, and then went, tick it. This is it. Middle area, and 
they have two sides and it's kind of like dodgeball but with pillows. And there's a guy at the front who's like a goalie who's using a duvet to stop people being hit. But you get points basically for every time you hit someone else on the other team and you've got to do it in two minutes. I see it's pretty simple. I wonder who they're filming for. Their footage will be better than us. <laughs> Take it really seriously. Equipment you can buy special uh, fighting pillows. <laughs> so random. And this place is so weird as well. It's like it just feels so much more remote. Anywhere we've been in Japan so far. It's lovely, it's really cool. Yeah. You really feel like you're in actual Japan as opposed to tourist Japan. We did we didn't get stared at as much as I thought we would though. People just kind of accepted that we were there. And there's a view of Mount Fuji on this road. Wow. It's one of those things that looks so big when you're actually here, but on screen it looks tiny. All right, so back to Ito now. Yes, back on the bus. As you can see, it's been a pretty weird 24 hours here in Japan. We've got so much planned coming up for Asia. We're heading down to the south of Japan in the coming days and then we're gonna head over to our next country, which we'll reveal very shortly. And remember, if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button below and help us to make more videos just like this one.